the Butterfly ColourPop collection makeup looks. Well, we're finally on our last one. I know it took a while, but I've been waiting for these butterflies to come in. I just wanted them so badly just to complete this look. Look how cute they are. Um, I forgot where I got them, but I guess I'm going to see if I can check so I can link it below just in case any of y'all want some. This is what it looks like. And the ColourPop palette that we're using for the butterfly look is called Butter Me Up. This is the palette. And this is what it looks like. Hold on. There you go. This is what it looks like. Look how pretty the glitters. Same thing as the other ones. It has the glitters, the shimmers, the mattes. But I'm just so obsessed with these glitters. I feel like you can use them for like anything, any event. Let me swatch some of these. Hold up. Oh, it looks similar to my lip color. That's cute. Cute. So, let's see. The, the silk shade is a matte, and the other one is a shimmer. The fleet is a shimmer. The fleet is a shimmer, and the silk silk shade is a matte. Let's see a glitter. Press the glitter. This is why I'm obsessed with these palettes. People can complain, but I never had a problem with their eyeshadows. This is one of my favorite brands, and I'm never gonna stop loving this brand. But yeah, if you can find any collections that are still selling that are not new, and you can find this, I suggest you get your hands on it, on all three, all three. No lie, I feel extra proud right now. Like a mic. What? Who's she? Butterfly queen? Butterfly queen who? Butterfly queen me. But if you want to know how to get this butterfly, makeup look just keep watching for our transition shade i am using the color stay golden and i'm not only applying this to the crease but i'm going a little above the crease and i'm extending it outward like a wing shape <laughs> silk street i am applying it to the bottom portion of where we put the last color and i'm blending it into the crease as well and following it out into a wing shape the same way we have so make sure it's blended on the bottom part of the last color the outer portion of the lid we are applying paradiso and we're blending that into the wing taking the color night dream i am lightly blending it into my crease just to give it more depth so when you grab it do not pack it on make sure with a very light hand you're just lightly blending it in one more sign i could find a way to break through we're going to go back to paradiso and we're going over the black lightly just to blend it in a little more and soften it up I am cutting my crease halfway using my ColourPop concealer and I'm sorry because my face looks mad stank and I don't know why. <laughs> silk streak i'm going to lightly pack it onto where we had our concealer i'm only lightly packing it because i want it to be a lighter purple just so it can have a background color for when we apply the glitter since i ran out of glitter primer i'm applying my dual lash glue onto my lid 
and I'm going to pack on the color Overpacked, which is a pressed glitter. I like to use dual lash glue because I think it's a good alternative when you're putting glitter on your face. To sharpen my wing, I'm going to carve it out by using my ColourPop concealer. I'm going to blend this with my sponge. And then you'll see me apply powder with my sponge as well. But I will blend that all out and also dust off the powder. So when you're dusting off the powder, actually blend it into the line of the edge of the shadow. And then I'm going to take another brush, a fluffy one, and soften up the edge of our wing just so it won't be too harsh i am now applying paradiso to my bottom lid and i don't even know if i'm saying it right but i hope i am <laughs> On the brow bone, we're lightly blending the color the big three. We're applying it and blending it into the shadow just to soften everything up a bit. <laughs> to highlight the inner corner, I'm using on a whimsy a silver color in the palette and then for my cheeks as blush I'm going to apply stay golden now what I'm going to do with this color is that it's going more on the middle part of my cheek area but then after I apply this on both sides I'm going to go to the color silk street and that color I'm going to put it on my contour of my cheek and blend it into what we're using as blush and then I'm going to use it to put on the contour on the rest of my face so the forehead and on the chin but not on the nose this is only just to make our face on the outer part portion a little more purple <laughs> to apply the pressed glitter island hopping on our forehead contour and above our brows just to give it more of a glittery look from the other butterfly palette called a flutter. I am now lining my lips using my NYX lip liner. The lip liner I'm using is a burgundy color, but when I line my lips, I also like to make sure I color the inner corner of my lips and create the line down the, the middle of my bottom lip. I actually have it naturally lightly, but I like to darken it for when I put on liquid lipstick, it can make my lips look a little more puffy. 
I'm using is called Ola and it's in the color FOMO. After applying my liquid lip, I'm going back with Paradiso and I am going to tap that onto my lip to give it a little shift of a purple color in the middle. Now we're applying the butterflies using our dual glue. I'm putting the glue in the center of the bag, just in case it doesn't dry down clear, it's still on the body so it gets covered. And the reason I'm doing it so it could be more flexible and look a little more realistic on the face. center just so it can look more realistic now I'm going to go in with Silk Street and the way that I applied it to the chin and to our jawline I'm dragging it down to also cover the sides of our body like the shoulders and the sides of our neck and on top of that I'm going to then apply the pressed glitter which is over packed and island hopping. You're going to see me um, pack it around and slightly dust certain spots just so that the glitter can be all over. Now the same way I applied the butterflies to the face, I'm applying it to my neck and my chest as well. tutorial like comment subscribe if you want to see something different let me know i have done a couple of flower looks one where i made my eye into a flower and one that was just inspired by like rose gold colors but my butterfly look collections i have this is the third look and the final one i mean doesn't mean i'm not gonna use the palette anymore maybe down the line i'll do another butterfly look i don't know but when it comes to this collection and ideas this is the third one i've been finally waiting to finish so if you like this video like comment subscribe show a little love show a little love to me it's so crazy see what quarantine got me doing but remember of course you know i'm dramatic like for these type of looks so you can always do the eye look you can even have it a little more down do a regular cut crease or half cut crease without the extending you don't have to always put the butterflies but it's good for like if you want to be dramatic or photo shoots or maybe 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 it's halloween who knows so if you like this video show some love and i'll see you guys next time bye